G'day everybody and welcome to another episode of High West Crafts A Lot. This is episode 8 now and I've done a bit of work in between episodes. I'll just show you first of all. So first of all we had a little issue. So remember we are running Bedrock. There are some differences between Bedrock and Java. But we did have an issue with a villager house over here that the villagers weren't really doing much. Now, I've resolved that. It had something to do with slabs. So I've now put blocked floors in. And we've now got a little army of villagers here. Our first villager that was born and bred here is Horace. So we're just going to go and um, just open a few trades up with Horace. So he's a level 4. Uh, jungle boat. Okay, that could be very tricky. Thanks, Horace. You just made our trades very difficult. But I've got the little um, barrels here. I'll put uh, my emerald here and anything I want to trade as well, just as a little bank. So that's going quite well. I'm probably going to make it a little separate island itself so that the iron golems don't spawn in the water. Hoping for them to spawn in a rooftop over here. Uh, that way we can sort of set up a trap. But I'm just going to go down here, just to where we farm. Now, if you do remember rightly, I had the um, abandoned mine shaft down here. We're just going to check out the abandoned mine shaft and see how I've turned it into a productive farm. So one of the trades for, um, for the villagers, for the fishermen villagers, is to trade a string for items. So you can hear there's some... Uh, there's some spiders dying here. So first of all, what I've had to do to set this up is I've trapped around a spawner and I've put a light level all around it so that spiders cannot spawn in any other place other than this. And if I was to turn the light on, um, which I don't have a light a torch on me, but there's a water source and it's just going down to a block onto a magma block there. So by standing here with these two fence um, posts for protection, the spiders kind of jump up at me and they, they try and have a go at me. Occasionally they'll get stuck and I just need to give them a tap down, but they'll, they'll jump up and they'll try and have a go at me and they'll end up dying because they keep jumping on uh, the magma blocks that are just down there underneath the water, which is, which is what we want. So in this instance, what we're doing is we're farming some string. So there's a couple of reasons the string is handy to farm. It is particularly for one, the trades with fishermen, and two, to be able to turn it into wool and build some more beds to increase how many fishermen we got. So we can see, now, I put the hoppers down originally underneath the magma blocks and it just did not work. So what I've had to do is use mine carts with hoppers. Um, I've got a feeling this is just a little quirk in uh, bedrock. I think, well, maybe not a quirk. I reckon they've probably nerfed it. But you can see the farm, albeit slow, does work. So since being here, we've uh, collected four strings. We're probably gonna find one spider stuck up here. Yep, see, they do get stuck occasionally and unfortunately with magma blocks it does take a while uh, for them to die off now um there we go i tend to only get spider eyes if i've hit them once otherwise they tend to drop string one thing we have not done as of yet is gone to the never now reason i want to go to the never is to look at getting some items that you can't get here, particularly soul sand, because I want to look at building water elevators. So we've we've got some, we've got a pretty good area here, and we know that mobs aren't going to go in and out of a portal. Well, I mean, we might get some mobs coming through the portal later, but at the moment it looks pretty good. So I'm going to build it into a wall. I wish I had a shovel to do this. So we will go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So with a portal, we need a square frame. Uh, with it, it doesn't have to have the corners filled in as long as it's square on the inside. Uh, so just out of some obsidian and then you get your flint and still light her up. There we go. Shablamo, we have ourselves a portal. 
Okay, so we've got 24 blocks of cobblestone to use as a contingency. Let's enter the never. Okay. And here we go. Please be good spawn. Please be good spawn. Please be good spawn. Oh no. This is what I fear. Ooh. Okay, I hear ghasts. Alright. This is not the best spawn in the world. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is bring a lot more cobblestone back here to build a shelter because we've got ghasts everywhere. But for now, I'm not leaving empty handed. I just want a few blocks of soul sand. Let's keep away from those ghasts. Let's get back into a portal. Now, the reason I bring a flint and steel with me is I have known these portals to blow up and yeah it's really annoying so I bring it just as insurance because yeah you don't want to be stuck in the never now with a never there's a few things you need to know you cannot sleep in the never but real time does click on the um, overworld so oh, no, 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 no. ah he got me he got me no no oh. Ah! Gas! I hate these things! Oh! And now this one's gonna fire at me! Go away! Oh, yes! Oh. Yeah, that's not an easy shot to make. So, first thing I want to do is just get rid of a bit of never rack here and turn it into cobblestone. Now, the reason I want to do this is because the ghasts can't actually destroy cobblestone. They can destroy Neverrack, but they can't destroy cobblestone. We're gonna do something that Donald Trump isn't very good at doing and that's arranging to build a wall. So we will go off exploring down the track for things like Never Fortresses and stuff. But for now, if we do this, we've got ourselves a really basic shelter in the Never. So, if we do find ourselves in hot water, we can get out pretty quick. Just to recap on what we've done, we have gone into the nether, so we've set up a nether portal. We have also just explained the little uh, spiderweb farm that I've set up. And we've also looked at how the breeding of the villagers is going. Oh, hi Piggy. So look, uh, thank you for uh, for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel to get updated of any new Minecrafting content, gaming videos, um, and things like that. And hope you have a good one.